Hey everyone, Dr. Mungli here. In this video, I thought I will uh, explain something about uh, brisk walking. So, what is the difference between normal, casual walking and brisk walking and how this brisk walking is going to help us in, uh, in our overall health and well-being. So, now the normal casual walking, so where we don't really concentrate on the coordination of the movement and the rhythm that is there in our movement. So, we don't really, you know, basically focus on that. So, what is brisk walking? So, the brisk walking, it simply says that our uh, steps per, per minute, it will be 100 steps per minute. So, uh, approximately, it should be around 100 steps per minute. And also it amounts to around 3.5 miles per hour. So that is what is considered as a brisk walking. So unless you take 3.5 miles per hour, if the, the pace of your walking, it amounts to 3.5 uh, uh, miles per hour or if it doesn't count to 100 steps per minute. So uh, basically that's not a brisk walking. So it doesn't really uh, burn that many calories for us compared to like now so if you compare this with the casual walking or a normal walking with the low, uh, low speed so uh, brisk walking actually it, uh, uh, breaks uh, means it uh, consumes more calories uh, eventually if you keep it for a longer period of time and also keep the distance longer so it will get into the lipolysis process where the fat broke uh, breakdown occurs and the fatty acids will become energy source for our skeletal muscle before I get into how exactly this brisk walking has to be done, what should be the posture and what are the requirements. So let me just briefly explain you what are the benefits of brisk walking as opposed to the casual walking or the regular normal regular walking process. So, so the brisk walking it helps in uh, uh, preventing or uh, maintaining the uh, 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 normal so brisk walking, uh, it helps in maintaining normal healthy weight for a person. So you can maintain the healthy weight if you continuously regularly do this uh, brisk walking at least 30 minutes to 60 minutes per, uh, uh, per day and at least uh, 5 to 7 days, uh, 5 to 6 days a week. Now, uh, brisk walking helps in uh, preventing or uh, maintaining uh, already the uh, disorder that is uh, ongoing like the heart disease it may be blood pressure or it may be type 2 diabetes mellitus so in all these disorders if uh, brisk walking is done so you can actually prevent the occurrence of the disorder to a certain extent and if the disease is already there so you can actually control that uh, that particular disorder uh, rather than uh, worsening the disease if you don't do brisk walking process and also note that when we do brisk walking so there will be a lot of pressure and tension that will be going on on our bones and also on the uh, skeletal muscles. So when the skeletal muscle contracts, so that constant pull and push that is there from the skeletal muscle onto your bone. So there will be pressure on the bone, both on from the gravity side and also the weight that will be on the bone and also the constant pull that will be done by contracting skeletal muscle. So the bones will get more stronger and they become denser and that how that's how you can build a strong bone and also that improves our muscle mass and also muscle strength so if you improve your muscle mass and also bone uh, density and also strength of the bone so that means it can help in prevention of the osteoporosis excess more muscle mass means you can uh, your blood glucose level will be under control because insulin sensitivity will increase insulin is uh, working much more efficiently and also it is helping in uh, bringing down the blood glucose level. So once you bring down the blood glucose level by consume, by skeletal muscle consumption, so what will happen? So uh, it can prevent uh, uh, accumulation of lipids in our body, especially LDL cholesterol can be decreased and triglycerides can be decreased. Uh, when, if you decrease LDL cholesterol, triglycerides, that means you are uh, keeping your lipid levels under check. Which, which can uh, eventually help in prevention of heart diseases uh, with, uh, and also uh, increase in the blood pressure. And also note that uh, 30 to 60 minutes of brisk walking per day it will help in overall uh, mood improvement. So especially this is prescribed uh, as a way of uh, lifestyle for a person who is having depression. So if they do 30 to 60 minutes of brisk walking, so there will be significant improvement in their clinical outcome. So. These are some of the uses of uh, and also brisk walking every day like regular walking uh, 
in a coordinated movement it will help in our immune uh, capacities or you know, improvement in the immune system can uh, happen and that can prevent uh, routine like you know, colds so, uh, 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 like a sore throat that kind of things like you know, uh, small uh, 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 illnesses cannot can be prevented because of the overall improvement in the immune function now how the brisk walking has to be done so whenever we do the brisk walking keep your steps 100 steps per minute and also we we'll have to keep our head straight and look forward and also keep your chest straight and also increase the abdominal uh, pressure basically strengthen the abdomen and uh, uh, make sure that your hand uh, and uh, foot coordination of the movement is there and that coordination along with the focus and the heart rate and the respiratory rhythm everything has to be in coordination so that's when we basically uh, that's when it is more effective so I'm showing you the video how the brisk walking is done. So just as a demonstration, so it may not be the perfect one, but this is close to what I'm trying to explain to you. So this is what is the brisk walking that I have shown and also make sure the gear is important here. So the shoe that you are wearing, so it has like it should be the walking shoe and then uh, the uh, comfortable gear has to be worn uh, depending on the uh, climate and also the path that the route that you take is also important. So make sure according to your needs, so you take the route. So it should, um, not, whether it is a concrete one or the road or the grass or the sand or you are uh, walking on the beach depending on what is uh, accessible to you and also note that when you start this walking so start gradually increase the speed so if you are starting if you are a beginner you can start like 15 minutes a day increase every day around 5 minutes and take it to 30 minutes and 60 minutes so and also keep it longer and keep it further so this is how we can improve and also make sure that you do it regularly so the regularly consistency is the key here so every day make sure that you are, it becomes your routine part of your life. So this is how you, you, you can take it for a long time and also keep enjoying this walking. So make sure that this walking is more enjoyable rather than uh, as a punishment or, uh, uh, or an obligation or something. So and also here to keep the consistency you can make, uh, you can join a group or a health club or maybe you, will have, uh, you, you may have a uh, good friend who is having the same mentality, so same thinking like you, so that you follow this routine uh, regularly. So, and also note that, so before walking, so start slowly, maybe for five minutes, and then increase the pace, and uh, stretch yourself after a cool down, and then stretch yourself. So this is how, basically, we can keep a good walking uh, rhythm, and that can help us in overall health and well-being. So this is in short about uh, what is this brisk walking and how brisk walking can help us in maintaining uh, a normal healthy weight and also preventing certain uh, disorders like heart diseases, blood pressure, type 2 diabetes mellitus and also as a overall uh, health and well-being. So brisk walking is uh, most recommended and also it, uh, it doesn't cost too much. So. I hope this video has helped you in understanding uh, and also knowing it more about uh, what is this working. So keep watching and I may come up with some other videos maybe related to biochemistry or nutrition or overall health videos. So uh, to get the uh, notification so make sure you, to, you subscribe to this channel and also click the bell button so that you get uh, uh, you will be notified first uh, through, through the email in your inbox. So. That's all for now and uh, I will meet you in uh, some other video. So till then you take care. Thank you.